and all that skin off the nail. I love this shape, cuticle pusher. I've probably told you this before because it's really thorough and it gets right in there. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just coming in with my outer space cuticle nippers from also from Glitter Planet UK. Um, these are the best ones I've found. They're sharp enough to just nip away what's needed, and I've touch wood. I've never cut anybody with them. So, not that I caught anyone before. I only caught someone once when I was training, but you know. So I'm just nipping away all that skin. Any excess that I can. I don't go into the living tissue. Because otherwise we'd have a right mess. Go in there again with those cuticle brushes just to really be thorough. It's key to having long lasting nails. So I'm just going in now with a Skittles cuticle bit from Nail Dot Supplies. Um, I'm just taking off any dead skin from the nail plate. It looks like I'm being really vigorous because I've sped it up slightly because I didn't want you to be here all day. Um, but I'm not, I'm being really gentle. It's just Obviously, because it's sped up, it looks like I'm being quite harsh. <laughs> but it's just removing any dead skin from that nail plate. Now I'm just coming in with my 180 grit sanding band and just etching that nail plate. Again, it looks like I'm being vigorous, but I'm not. It's just because I've sped it up slightly. So I'll just let you watch. I did forget to record applying my tips, however, there they are. <laughs> and I'm just going in with CJP prep spray and acid bond primer. Also from CJP. Now I'm just coming in with my CJP Big Boy brush and I'm just going to apply a clear layer, base layer of acrylic to all my nails just to prevent any staining, it also helps with any lifting 
because there's like no pigment in there sorry I, I do go out a shot a little bit and I do realise bring it back in and you can just see there how thin the layer actually is it's literally just to protect the natural nail plate and so that I've got something to file back to without filing back to the nail plate, obviously. Now onto the design. So I'm just coming in here with a glitter. I think it was from the Glitter Planet UK and I think it's called Rose Gold. But I will check that. Um, so I'm just applying this in sort of a straight line cut out design down the ring finger. I do apologise as well. You will see my daughter's hands flapping in and out every now and again as you can see her arm there in the top corner she wanted to sit and watch me do my nails because she wants to be just like mummy so I don't mind her watching as long as all the windows are open and it's well ventilated so yeah I'm just going in with that glitter straight down the nail trying to do as much work with my brush as I can to keep that straight so I don't have to do as much with the file and then I will cap this in clear acrylic to protect it for the rest of the design Just coming in with that same glitter on my index finger and just doing a full nail of that. I do apologise as well for how much I move my hand into different positions. It's just hard when you're working on yourself to film it and be in a comfortable position, if that makes sense. So I do try my best, guys. If you've had any tips or anything, please do let me know.
So yeah, I'm just doing a full nail of that. It is, it's rose gold from Glitter Planet. Glitter Planet UK. Now I'm just coming in with Auto Expose from Glam and Glitz. I always order my Glam and Glitz from Nails by Annabelle. Again, I'm sorry you can see my daughter's hands. They do pop in every now and again. <laughs> so I think she just wanted to say hi to you all. <laughs> I'll just feather that back as much as I can to a nice blend so I've not got no harsh lines I don't know why it took me so many beads as well this is my first time using this colour so I'm just going to say that that that's why it doesn't normally take me this many it's just I don't know I think my daughter was distracting me as well But yeah, just do that until I'm happy with the coverage and the blend. And just do that on the middle finger and I think the baby finger as well. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Just pop that bead on, blend it back so there's no harsh lines. And that's I find is key for any ombre. If you feather it back into nothing, there'll be no harsh lines there. And this colour, it looks like neon orange on this video on my phone. But it is more of a, a bright, I'll say it is bright, but it's more of a coral colour than an orange. But yeah, I get all my glam and glitz from nails by uk. Um, I'm just coming in, sorry if you heard my phone go off then, I'm just coming in with Peach Abel Soft I think, <coughs> also from Nails by Annabelle and I'm just blending that up the nail to create a nice ombre. How's everyone coping in this heat guys? 
my acrylic was setting like there was no tomorrow. I've tried to work wetter with it. But still, I don't know. Does anybody have any tips for that? This heat is killing me. <laughs> and I say, Mom, when it's too hot, Mom, when it's too cold, there's just no pleasing some people, is there? <laughs> but really, acrylic application should be an Olympic sport in this weather. It's so hot in the UK right now. Then I do the same again on the middle and the pinky. It's either Peachy Bell or Peachy Bell Soft, I can't remember. Peachy Bell Cover or Peachy Bell Soft. I'll check it out and put it in the description box anyway. Everything that I have used I will put up in the description box, but please do give me 24 hours to do that because I'm so busy at the moment with my house and my children and it, I'm getting flooring done today and it's just my house is upside down so please do just give me a bit of time to do that please I'll also link below my um, Facebook support group if anybody would like to join. It's not just for nails, it's for anything nails or beauty. It's called All Things Nails and Beauty. It'd be great to see some people on there sharing their work and their experiences and just supporting each other. I think the beauty industry can be quite brutal at times and I think everybody just needs that little bit of support every now and again so it'd be great if you could join so i'm just going in with my file it's quite a blunt file and um, it is a tmbl one and i'm just filing those sides so that they're nice and straight for when i apply my colors Try my best to stay in shot, guys. It's so hard when you're doing your own. So now I'm just going in. I don't know why it repeated that twice. I'm just going in with auto expose again and blending that up at the side. And just apply as much or as little as you want until you're happy with the coverage. Bearing in mind you also need to cap for strength. They say that Glam Glitz are strength powders but I do use them for design because I find that when you work wetter with them they seem to work better and I wouldn't use my core powder acrylic that wet so I find that the strength wouldn't be there. I don't know, it's just personal preference, I think. <laughs> Sorry guys, my phone. I was quite impressed with myself because this was my first time of trying this kind of nail. And I thought I was really going to struggle with getting the ombre blend at the sides. But you know what? I didn't do too bad. I'm not like being a big head. But <laughs> I never say that I'm proud of myself. So I'm going to say it. I am proud of myself for this set of nails. I did enjoy doing this.
Okay, now I'm just going to come in with my clear and cap that full glitter nail. I tried to do it in one bead but I just didn't pick up enough so just quickly put another bead on because I am doing a netting design. <laughs> must remember when I'm doing voiceovers to put my phone on silent because honestly so all I do is I pop the netting into my clear powder and then press it into the nail when when the acrylic's gone matte or going matte I should say and then press it in and then gently pull it out I'm just pushing the sides back on there because yeah it squishes the acrylic out sometimes <laughs> so I'm just going back in with my Glam and Glitz Auto Expose really really wet bead and just getting in between all those little lines crevices cracks whatever you want to call them my netting imprint and I'm just filling those with auto expose okay so I did all my filing off camera because I just didn't want you to be here all day and I thought this video was long enough already so now I'm just coming in with my CJP Tech Free Top Gloss and applying that to all my nails. As you can see, I finally did my other hand as well. <laughs> um, and then cure that in my lamp for 60 seconds. Please make sure when you're using a no wipe top coat that you allow the top coat to cool down when it comes out of the lamp for about 60 seconds before you apply your cuticle oil or it will dull the shine I'm just wiping the excess off the sides there so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world. And thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.